okay guys uh, now we'll be going to study again uh, dreamer package last we have studied till load mechanics load and all we will be studying today up till pump okay so let's get started starting with the atmospheric pressure concept like uh, what is the value of atmospheric pressure sir for us you know yeah one bar mm -hmm. one bar equal to how many mm of hg uh, 760 mm hg mercury okay and how many column of water uh, 10.3 meters correct uh, is gauge pressure is greater than atmospheric pressure or less than atmospheric pressure gauge pressure is less than atmospheric pressure kiran hello mm, he is saying gauge pressure is less than atmospheric pressure it depends if it is uh, lower then it's called as negative gauge pressure or if it is measured above the atmospheric pressure then it's called as the positive gauge pressure see there is no terms called neg negative gauge pressure okay the term which is less than the, uh, the, the pressure measured below the atmospheric pressure is known as gauge vacuum pressure, pressure. Vacuum. The pressure above the atmospheric pressure is gas pressure. Kiran, you were wrong. Okay? No, Gyan, Rekh bhai, 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 Kiran is right actually. What? In RS Kurma, it is written that uh, the pressure below the atmospheric pressure is called as negative gas pressure, also suction pressure or vacuum pressure, we ha. call it. Positive gas pressure and negative gas pressure. Yes, yes, he is right actually. Okay, but generally we gauge pressure where the term gauge pressure is used uh, is something above the atmospheric pressure convention. No, 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 वो किसके तरफ से मेजर करता है वो ही गेज ही मेजर करता है ना 0.7 माइनस 0.7 बार हम लेते हैं ना तो वो नेगेटिव प्रेशर हां नेगेटिव प्रेशर तो किसके वजह से मेजर करते लेस देन तो उस उस उसको बोलते हैं वैक्यूम प्रेशर तो वैक्यूम प्रेशर क्रिएट करने के लिए ही हमें कोई तो भी डिवाइस रहता है तो मतलब हम तैयार करते हैं इन ड्रीमर प्रकेज सर हैज टोल्ड द प्रेशर टोल्ड the pressure above the atmospheric pressure gauge pressure the pressure below the atmospheric is negative pressure or vacuum pressure okay zero pressure is the absolute pressure this is like that only if you remember are wo ek sign hai dekh gauge pressure is equal to an atmospheric pressure plus minus gauge pressure total pressure okay it is it is making sense uh, maybe okay uh, see uh, gauge pressure it is the pressure measured with the measuring instru instrument it is above atmospheric pressure what is dreamer package i am just referring dreamer package okay negative gauge mm. pressure can be vacuum pressure that is below the atmospheric pressure but generally if i have to say i will say gauge pressure is the pressure that is above the atmospheric pressure because i till now i haven't referred the rs kurmi okay mm. now coming Dick to the diagram based on group I am I will be also sending the diagram of that only okay now coming to the next concept mm. 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 role of boiling on pressure surfrost yes if we increase pressure boiling point will increase or decrease if we increase the pressure the boiling point point will uh, increase okay, where if it increases the pressure the boiling point will decrease okay where it is uh, uh, where boil water will boil faster on mountain or on plain on mountains it will boil faster it will boil faster okay. as the pressure on mountains is less in as compared to sea level where the food cook faster on mountain on plain on plane 
Why? On plane, because uh, if the boiling uh, point will increase, as uh, in mountains the boiling point increases, then uh, the food will not get enough time to cook. Mm. So while in plane or in sea level, mm. it will get enough time and it will completely cook. Oh, okay. Uh, anybody else? And everyone got satisfied. Abhijit, you get satisfied with this answer that the co food will cook faster at uh, on plane. Okay. So it can be also defined as that uh, on plane uh, the energy it will get much more energy if suppose we are uh, cooking we are boiling that uh, potato okay so since water will not yes. get converted into the vapor state uh, in a case of plane as compared to water on on mountain it will faster convert into the vapor state so the amount of energy that will get on plane that potato will be more so hence it will cook faster okay now coming to okay. the so what was the first part of the answer i got the second part but i didn't got the first part what was the first part first first part question first thing yeah in in C level, no, no, not the question. You said the answer, right? Uh, just now, what was the first part of your answer? Okay, uh, I was saying that level, when the potato uh, on C level, because uh, it will, it will, uh, the water will not get converted into vapor state that much faster as compared to the mountain. So the latent heat will, uh, the potato, the food will get much more latent heat. Okay, much more heat sorry much more heat and it will boil it will cook faster okay. now coming to the next question you know why manometer is used manometer is used to uh, get the pressure to check pressure between two points in pipe Hmm. It, it can be used for larger difference or smaller difference. Like it can use for difference in pressure measure. Differential manometer is used to find the. What is the specific gravity? Anyone, guys, what is the specific gravity? See, Kiran? specific gravity means is the density of substance to the uh, and the ratio between density of substance to uh, density of other reference liquid. Hmm. <coughs> In a case, uh, a specific uh, gravity is nothing but density of suspe uh, substance with respect to density of water. Okay. Like uh, mercury, what is the specific gravity of mercury? 13.6. Because uh, the, uh, the density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube, the density of mercury is 13,600 per meter cube. And when we take ratio of that, it becomes 13.6. To make a calculation easier, we use this term generally the specific gravity. You must have seen in numericals also. Guys, am I audible? This question is important. Brajanga sir asks every time mostly. What is Pascal law? Anybody? Jackpot?
in dreamer package sir is told arun would you like to try what is pascal law yes uh, so in a in in a confined space hmm. when we apply the pressure uh, it is divided equally in all sides of the Okay. Not satisfied. Anyone else? Abhijit. In confined confined space, mm. the, when the uh, pressure is applied on incompressible field, then uh, uh, the pressure is equally and totally applied. Ek, then pressure is applied equally and totally in same direction. Not satisfied, sir. Raj. In a confined space, uh, when pressure is applied on an incompressible fluid, then pressure is transmitted equally on all directions. Hmm. Okay. When a pressure is applied to a, an in, incompressible fluid, when a pressure is applied to an incompressible fluid, then this applied pressure will be equally transmitted in all directions. Okay. This is known as law of transmissibility. And what is the application of Pascal's law? In hydraulic jacks, mm. we use to uh, we use this application to lift heavier things. Okay, okay. Heavier uh, how uh, it works actually? When on one side pressure is applied, mm. that uh, on that side, the uh, uh, the pressure transmitted to the other side is ten times as the area of the other side where we have to lift the heavier load is ten times. It will lift the heavier load. Pressure is subjective. Pressure will be equal, brother. Pressure is will be equal by go by the definition. Pressure will be equally transmitted. What is the formula of pressure? Pressure is nothing but force per unit area. What we do? What we do? Pressure is constant. Constant. In the case of one side, we uh, put area lesser, and in the case of second time, like uh, other side, we uh, the area is more. As the since pressure is constant, so P P one and P two is similar. So F one by F uh, A one equal to F two by A two. Will be like this. If a one is less, then the let me tell you, pressure will be equal in both. Okay. So what we do, we by manipulating area, by decreasing the area, by decreasing the area, we increases the force amount of force. Okay. So that amount of force lifted that. Heavy object. Any confusion, guys? No. Surfaras, you get it. Mm -hmm. If yes, not, yes, the pressure is equal. The force is multiplied. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, just think, uh, think simply. Like, if pressure is constant, and the term has to be, uh, pressure is what force per unit area, and this is pressure. If it is constant, so if area is decreasing. Area is decreasing, so pressure will be, the force will be increasing. The upper part is will be increasing. Is it or not? Yes. If denominator is decreases, the uh, whole things are increases, na? So, so basically, you are trying to say force is directly proportional to area. If pressure is constant, then force is directly proportional to area. Mm. As per the area increases, the force increases. Mm. Intensity of force increases on the other side. Ah. Uh. Mm. Correct. Correct. Now you, you get it. Like okay. in in one side, you must have seen the area is lesser. Okay. In other side, the area is greater. So when we applied the for pressure, since pressure has to be equally transmitted, so the when area will increase, the force will also increase. P equal to F by mm. A. A will be going there. Equal to F by A. Uh, A will be going there yes, like A yes, into P equal to F. A is directly proportional to F. Okay, this force. 
now coming to the pump guys it's more important let's revise it so starting with the definition of pump what is pump anyone guys hello in last question i think by mistake i have said uh, the, when area will increase the force uh, when area decreases force will increase is something i said earlier while explaining pascal's application yes yes you know but it it is not if pressure is constant uh, yes uh, force pressure is constant then force is directly proportional to the area uh, yeah it is correct now yes. okay so what is pump if you have to define pump how would you like to define so pump is a device used to convert uh, mechanical energy to hydraulic energy and pump uh, when mo it moves slurries and sometimes fluids oh uh, sir fras arun it could be better also sir fras okay I'll remember yeah yes mine is also the same like thing but still i'm saying uh, a pump is a device that is used to transfer mechanical energy into hydraulic energy uh, which produces slurry movement and to transfer fluid from one place to another hmm simple as that why we we use pump on board ship to transfer fluid from one place to another what mechanical energy uh, hydraulic energy is doing that yeah it is like okay. that only okay. be practical as much as possible got it arun oh yes yes i got it hmm. pump is a mechanical device that is used to transfer the fluid from one place to another okay now what are the type of pump types of pump abhijit reciprocating pumps so rotor dynamic and rotary pumps there are two types of pump rotor dynamic and uh, uh, positive displacement uh, po sorry sorry positive displacement pump mm, how many type of rotor dynamic pump how many type of rotor dynamic pump Two types. Two C types. Centrifugal pump. Hmm. And axial pump. Axial flow pump. Axial pump. Okay. Axial. What are the main difference between centrifugal pump and axial flow pump? anyone guys it can be asked yes who knows yes yes sir tell uh, so propeller is used instead of propeller is used in axial flow pump instead of impeller that is used in centrifugal pumps mm -hmm. correct, and correct. the direction of uh, direction of uh, to direction of the discharge is laid is uh, in the parallel to the uh, to the axis of uh, propeller rotating in axial flow pump and it is radially outward in the case of centrifugal pump yeah the so, hmm. these are the main differences radially outward okay suction and discharge are radially outward in centrifugal yes. pump okay and in a case of axial flow yes, yes, pump so suction and discharge are in the same line on same axis like parallel okay and as you said uh, the propeller the the rotating part is outside in a case of axial flow pump in a case of centrifugal it is inside that is known as impeller got it sir fraz yes 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 yeah. now types of positive displacement pump oh. yeah should i answer yes Rotary pumps and reciprocating pumps. 
and uh, in rotary pumps we have uh, gear pump screw pump and in uh, reciprocating pumps we have piston pumps and uh, diaphragm pump mm. in piston pump we have single acting piston pumps and double acting piston pumps okay um in which of the positive displacement pump uh, relief valve is generally not needed or in diaphragm pump yeah. yeah correct correct so the next question is yes where suction is created uh, in a case of centrifugal pump guys suction is created at the impeller side impeller side Uh, somebody please uh, define uh, explain centrifugal pump na one by one arun start so centrifugal pump uh, works on the post vortex flow so uh, it uh, pumps the uh, fluid from one place to another uh, the pumping capacity is generally high the pressure uh, on which it pumps is low so it is used for high flow low pressure and uh, it creates the suction on the impeller's eye and uh, uh, discharge the fluid radially outward oh. so right right. tell the working also yeah. yeah it is more bookish okay, okay. Uh, okay. rakesh okay. you got your interview done yeah bro uh, very nice. yes yeah. so i was asking uh, sarfraz now it's your turn uh, explain centrifugal pump the motor uh, when you start the pump the motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy to rotate the shaft rotating the impeller suction is created in the impeller eye water comes in and the volume and the impeller vanes guides the water radially outwards which uh, gives the water kinetic energy and it passes through the volute casing the area of the volute casing is gradually increasing due to which some of the kinetic energy is getting converted into uh, pressure energy and uh, discharge takes place discharge okay uh, rakesh explain centrifugal pump bro khana khane laga hai please ha acha ha sorry kha le bhai tera khana chhodwa ke maine interview dilwaya pe ठीक है खाना खा ले तू आराम से ओके गाइस अभिजीत अभिजीत आर यू देयर जैक आई टेक अ फाइव फ्यू मिनट्स फॉर सम मोर ओके ओके जैक uh you also uh, try to explain by your side uh, because you have to also appear for interview thing now so practice it also explain centrifugal pump jack no worries arun my input was for you uh, like uh, don't be such a bookish like uh, your uh, explanation was like a uh, you can get qualify on that but it was not very much you know soothing to mind okay so uh, my next question is how negative pressure is created in a case of centrifugal pump sir for oh, aur yeah, ja arun arun you start so at the impeller for oh, the fluid comes from the impeller side Hmm. and uh, the hmm. impeller then transmits the kinetic energy to the fluid so the fluid you, goes uh, radially outwards that is my question only how negative pressure is created how yeah, yeah. the i am i am telling it okay i am just teaching there hmm. okay. so the fluid then goes radially outward hmm. and uh, in case and it is working on forced vortex flow so uh, in vortex flow there is a void created in in the center so because of that void fluid is uh, continuously moving outward and the void is there 
so because of that void the section pressure is created why is the need of using force vertex he will get into what is this vertex thing free vertex for force vertex example of force and free vertex and all the vertex flow also make it example simple. of force uh, uh, bro yes, uh, you are new to this group uh yes you can say that i have joined uh, in uh, i was yeah okay in this group in last two weeks okay. only okay refer uh, my earlier videos na some short video is there also top 30 uh, uh, interview question in will in that you will get idea how uh, the explanation in this marine works okay if you go into the much okay. mechanical thing he you can get trapped by them okay so sarfraz okay. how would like to explain this uh, when water is getting displaced at the suction side a vacuum is created vacuum is created how vacuum is created that displacement of water hmm is when mechanical energy is getting converted into kinetic uh, kinetic energy and water is uh, getting displaced then vacuum is created with the uh, impeller i not not good okay let me try to explain okay how negative pressure is getting created arun was right very much right uh, then you so how it is created suppose this is impeller rotating okay as you all know that uh, we start centrifugal pump after priming the pump is the pump casing and everything is filled of liquid suppose we start motor on the impeller rotates impeller work on uh, this uh, cent uh, centrifugal pump work on the principle of centrifugal force so it rotates centrifugal force will be exerted by the impeller that will cause the displacement of fluid towards the discharge side readily outwards when the fluid get it displaces the wide space is created near the eye at the eye of impeller and this wide space is nothing but low pressure region that is no negative pressure region and due, due to this negative pressure the fluid get sucked at the into the eye of impeller okay this is how negative pressure is getting created arun you got it yes yes i got it it was simple i should be more of practical instead of bookish yeah yeah it was simple okay now coming to the next question how discharge pressure is created arun try you know your logic is very much right since you are new to this so you have to be perfect because the competition has been increased if you lack in some of the things you will you can get disqualified okay, okay. So, so yeah try try uh, i you have enough i think you have enough well, you are having good knowledge so try so, this how discharge pressure is created so from the impeller size mm. the fluid enters the centrifugal pump and then uh it, the impeller imparts the kinetic energy mm. to the fluid so then after that impeller vanes guides the fluid radially outwards mm. from the impeller and mm. it goes in the volute casing so inside the volute casing the water which is having kinetic energy that is now converted to the pressure energy because of the area of the volute casing is increasing so then it converts to the pressure energy and this is how we get the discharge pressure correct sarfraz you get it yes yes yeah, yeah uh, try to explain when suction is created at the impeller eye and water comes in mm. the impeller vanes guides the water radially outwards mm. and due to which the water gains kinetic energy then water passes through the volute casing mm. and the uh, area of the volute casing is gradually increasing due to which some of the kinetic energy is getting converted into pressure energy you know guys 
uh, somebody uh, experience i am telling nothing wrong in his speaking in area but area is 2d concept if you will be speaking volume area increasing means volume increasing also nothing or and also mostly you should say cross sectional area okay the cross sectional area is increasing or you can say volume is increasing volume is uh, uh, looking more practical so uh, what is my answer what i had given to the interviewer is the discharge pressure is created because of the design of the volute casing of the centrifugal pump whose volume skips on increasing going through the discharge side when impeller rotates it exert centrifugal force and causes displace causes displacement of fluid toward the discharge side radially outward and the when the fluid goes toward the discharge side as the volume of the volute casing keeps on increasing the kinetic energy of the fluid which is imparted by the centrifugal force okay will be decreasing because of the conservation of energy principle okay as we know pressure energy plus kinetic energy plus potential energy will be constant so when this uh, pressure energy uh, when this kinetic energy will be decreasing the moment that kinetic energy will be decreasing the pressure energy will be increased going through the discharge side so this is how discharge pressure is created arun clear yeah it's clear wow okay brother now any other question regarding this yeah centrifugal pump now tell me the parts of the centrifugal pump who is going oh. to yeah arun yeah arun uh, so the parts of centrifugal pump are uh, suction line uh, in that foot valve and stainer and a discharge line uh, and impeller impeller i and impeller's vane uh, and after that volute casing prime mover stuffing box and bearings what about discharge valve oh i i just forgot that uh, yes, yeah. discharge valve is also there in the discharge line see when you will uh, be memorizing this from down or from up you will not forget from down uh, first i will uh, i will ask another person jack would you like to explain parts of this centrifugal pump abhijit yeah jack pot parts of centrifugal pump am i audible yeah you are audible suction side foot wall mm. strainer mm. eye of the impeller mm. main mm. volute casing mm. discharge wall discharge side line prime mover mm. stuffing box mm. bearings mm. yeah correct so starting from down stainer foot pole okay suction pipe fir coming eye of impeller guide vanes impeller that van is backward curved van volute casing discharge pipe discharge valve that uh, prime uh, that uh, what is called that uh, ceiling between that a prime mover and what is shaft motor shaft bearings okay did i also yeah that seal ceiling i told uh, that ceiling is ceiling is only Stuff, the stuffing, stuffing box. box yeah stuff stuffing box can also be called ceiling na jack avito exact word stuffing box yeah. it is ceiling only 
it you can maybe add some clarity clarity by specifying you know the packing and the type of packing also yeah so glan packing so uh, uh stuffing box okay how uh, types of stuffing box like types of ceiling how many types of seal we use uh we use two types of ceiling uh, stuffing box uh one one first is plant packing and second is mechanical seal okay. now it is which uh, we are using the most which one of the uh, so see uh plant packing is used where the fluid is not hazardous or where where we can uh, minimum we can tolerate a uh, very minimum leakage uh, and uh, uh, mechanical seal is used where uh, we cannot tolerate any amount of leakage so in fuel oil pumps uh, so uh, so in fuel oil pump of main engine we use a mechanical seal and in main sea water pump we use gland packing gland packing which one is costly uh, so mechanical seal is costly so because we there is no chance of uh, uh, repairing it uh, mostly it changes uh, we have to buy a new seal and place it there Okay. and in case of gland packing we just have to change the gland packing okay which is uh, easy to maintain uh so gland packing i think is a uh, cheaper to maintain but uh, we have to change it regularly uh in in, in case of mechanical seal we don't have to change it regularly uh so i think it, it is easy to maintain a uh, uh, gland packing it is costlier though but it is easy. no 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 clan packing requires more maintenance okay clan yeah, pack is thing direct changes i think so no clan packing requires more maintenance that's why we are we prefer mechanical seal okay and uh, okay now the last question of the session is why we keep discharge valve shut before starting up centrifugal pump everyone has to answer so it is the initial torque by the i current okay yeah arun explain it like you will be explaining in interview okay so as the characteristic curve of the centrifugal pump suggests uh, if we kept the discharge valve closed the power it will draw will be uh, minimum at that point or if we keep the discharge valve open it will draw a higher amount of current so the centrifugal pump can fail because of the current drawn is high and there can be damage to the wiring it is connected with uh, it is because uh, it draws high current because in the initial starting of uh, centrifugal pump it requires a high torque if we will uh, keep the discharge valve open surprise in case in case of a uh, closed uh, uh, discharge valve the it uh, the load increases gradually on the power line mm, making sense surprise as we start the motor it is in stationary position due to which the initial current drawn uh, is more which can have an adverse effect on the windings uh, which can damage uh, which can get damaged and uh, on the other hand the initial current drawn is more and we know that the flow to the impeller when the flow through the impeller increases the current drawn increases so if we keep the discharge valve open the flow will be more and the current drawn will be also more so now to minimize the current we shut the discharge valve shut so that least amount of current can be drawn mm, to save the power consumption to save the power consumption and that winding thing can be called as to save the motor from overheating yes mm. anyone else okay so basically yeah uh, you both are right uh, in starting there is starting pa yeah. rakesh khaliya 
ट्रिसिटी so if uh, there is a uh, like if there is a uh, valve open so flow is there that uh, with that uh, the chances uh, that power will be more so if the power is more the chances of insulation get damaged with which the motor also can damage that's all about my sir yeah from out of 100% 85% satisfied uh, because in last you mm. got okay uh, but it was all right no i just felt okay fine. it will work so basically uh, why we keep discharge valve shut because when we start the motor there is a starting torque required okay because it has to rotate the impeller from the rest position okay so there is a starting torque will be required it will draw more current because it has to rotate it from the rest position and to uh, have to bring it at fixed rpm okay so if we keep discharge valve shut and as we know in a case of centrifugal pump if the flow is more the current drawn will be more and if we keep discharge valve shut that current that excessive current which will be requiring for flow we will be saving that okay and if we do not shut discharge valve the current the there will be lot of current run by the motor the first current is the starting torque that is required and to for the flow also so this is the reason and we can start most of the question by answering this sir basically there are two reasons just like rakesh has started to reduce the power consumption to save the power consumption and to prevent the motor from overheating or getting damaged okay then after we we'll be explaining like uh, because it has to rotate from uh, rest position uh, impeller got his inertia and all arun got it y- yes i got it sir fraz i got it you got it Yes. Yes, bro. Sir Fraz, uh, very soon we, uh, we will be preparing for IMS Goa. Also, you have to get into that. And yes, Fraz, brother, you can get it, uh, and you are doing good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Avito. Thank you, Rakesh. Everyone. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Take care. Okay. Thank yeah, you, bye, everyone. Bye, guys. I have uh, one thing. Uh, yes. Yeah, you were saying about the morning. Uh, you are doing uh, uh, yeah yeah so uh, uh, just uh, right? just uh, uh, let me close this meeting thank you yeah okay. yeah, yeah okay